Hey everybody, this is Jordan and it's uh, we're in week two of the 30 day paleo challenge. Uh, just want to check in and kind of let everyone know how it's going. Um, right now, I'm stressed and I'm too busy and it's kind of been, well it's absolutely been making this challenge even harder. Um, but I'm still doing it and uh, hanging in there. Basically, um, as I said in the first video, I'm doing a yoga challenge this month, I'm working two jobs this month, and just going through a bunch of different stuff. And while on one hand it's been really good for me to stay very busy, um, on the other hand, I put too much on my plate. But I do that a lot, well, from time to time, and so how that has affected this paleo challenge is that I haven't had time to go to the grocery store every time that I needed to and the number one big thing about making paleo work is being able to find and make time to meal prep and I just haven't had that. I'm about to leave in 10 minutes for work. It's going to be my 11th day working straight, two of those days being doubles and just as an example, one day I worked 12 hours, I was unable to go to the grocery store, I was unable to cook, and so I was having to eat, like I went and I got a salad from Chipotle that had meat and lettuce on it, and some grilled vegetables, which was actually a cheat as far as this paleo challenge reset goes, because I'm sure that they were cooked in shitty oils, pardon my French. Um, and then I was literally coming home, there was days in a row where I wasn't able to meal prep. You know, I could cook one meal, but I didn't have time to make more and was going to work. I work, one of my jobs is at Lululemon and I work at a mall, and so I'm trying to like find ways to eat at the mall. I think one day I got a wrap that just had hummus and um, chicken in it, and I had to like unwrap it and eat that out of it. And none of my meals were fulfilling during that period of time because, well, it's they just weren't fulfilling. They weren't what I wanted. And so I was coming home and literally at night eating spoonfuls of almond butter just because I knew I didn't get my calories in. I knew I didn't get a lot of the nutrients in that I needed. And, you know, the whole point of this paleo thing is to eat in a more nutritious way. And I've, I've probably lost weight, which was not my goal at all to do this. I'm hoping to put on some, some muscle weight. And this yoga challenge also has been... Um, really tough to get in 30 hours in 30 days and um, I've been sick a little bit as well so yesterday I was supposed to get two hours of yoga in and I stayed in bed all day until I had to go to work and so we'll see if I'm able to complete all 30 hours I hate I hate saying I'm gonna do something and then not doing it so I'm going to try to but I've got family in town right now I'm leaving Friday night, um, tomorrow night, to go see my mother and sister in Portland. Um, they didn't sound too excited about doing eight hours of yoga that weekend, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to do my best. Um, I think that when I return from Portland um, on Monday, I have a whole day off where I can meal prep and make the third week significantly easier, significantly more fulfilling. And it just goes to show that the number one thing about making paleo work is to make sure you have the time to prep your meals. Because when you go places, like if you work at the mall, doing this 30-day reset, there's, there's really, there's not much you can eat. And there's definitely nothing nice and yummy to eat there that, that qualifies under this very strict paleo reset diet. Um, really quickly, um, one of my main tip that I can think of in the second week is if you've ever dieted or done something like this, you all have your bad trigger foods. You know, if someone says the word donut, I mean, for me, if someone just says a word that starts with D, I think about donuts and it starts the voices in your head. Um, one of the days at work they had you know, just some bread and some chips and some stuff for snacks. And you look at these foods or something triggers these foods in your mind and then the voices start. And you start trying to 
convince yourself that, you know, just a little bit won't hurt, or this challenge is stupid, or no one's going to know, or whatever it is. And I've been, you know, having had to cut weight many times for fights, I've had to deal with the voices. And I find the best thing to do when you start to kind of argue with yourself and try to convince yourself that, hey, five donuts wouldn't hurt, uh, you just have to stop. And it sounds so simple and it sounds kind of obvious, but you've literally just put the voices out of your head. Don't argue back and forth with them. I really hope I'm not the only person that argues with the voices in my head. Um, hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. And if not, I know I'm a little crazy. It's okay. Um, but you just have to stop that dialogue in your mind. I was walking the dog this morning. I could smell someone was toasting an everything bagel. I'm positive that's what it was. I could smell it. It was coming, wafting out of someone's window. And it immediately started those voices of, oh my God, I want a freaking bagel. And smothered in cream cheese. And there's a place right down the road. You know, I could do it. No one would know, blah, blah, blah. And I just, no, I can't do that right now. I committed to this challenge. I can't do that. Put the voices out of my head. And I quit thinking about bagels. I'm kind of thinking about a bagel right now. But I'm just going to stop the voices, you know? I'm just not going to entertain them. And you have to do that. And I think a difficult thing for me and a lot of other people is right now I've got this challenge. I feel like I have anyone who's watching this video kind of, you're all on my conscience, you know? Like I, I don't want to let anyone down. I don't want to do something that I said I wouldn't do. And so, it's a, you know, when, you have to, when I had a fight coming up, it'd be a lot easier to be like, okay, I, I can. I have to make this weight. Shut up. But when you don't have these external motivators you have to find the motivation from within and it's kind of sad to say that my own desire for my well-being and health is not enough sometimes for me to stop these voices and so for me I just need to change the way I'm thinking you know it's not that I'll never ever have a donut again or I'll never ever have a toasted everything bagel again but you have to be honest with yourself um you know, it's okay to cheat sometimes, but you have to know, are you really acting within, you know, the parameters you've given yourself? If you want to eat a certain way and live a certain way, you just have to be honest with yourself and you have to be able to stop those voices, even if you maybe don't have the external motivators like a fight or a paleo challenge or something like that. And that's something I'm working on as well. And, um, I plan for my next video to have a lot more tips. I do have a few more, but I'm running out of time. I think I'm almost late for work right now. So thank you guys for keeping up with me. Um, more videos. I actually have some written blogs too, but they're not quite ready. So all that to come. Thanks.